Tidy Mix Plate. I've got a lot to say today, shocker. <laughs> so let me give you a rundown of what's on the menu. First up, I want to tell you about what I anticipate to be my summertime skin routine. A lot of these, actually all of these products have come in Beauty Heroes boxes this year, 2020. Beauty Heroes is a beauty discovery service. If you're not familiar with them, I'll link all the details below. I'm a Beauty Heroes ambassador. We're never obligated to talk about the products. However, I have been just so impressed in 2020 the product lineup that Beauty Heroes has sent out and um, I've got a great routine for, for what I feel like my summertime skin needs are going to be. Next up I'm going to talk to you about lessons from the COVID. This is going to be, I'll, I'll probably keep this in for a couple weeks, but things that I've learned during the COVID pandemic. Then I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on Lip to Lid Balmies by Axiology. I've been playing with them. I'm going to let you know my first impressions. Then I want to talk about my reading list and give you a quick update on what's happening on Green Beauty Theory. Now that you know what's on the menu, why don't you come a little closer? Because you feel a little far away, just a little far away. Move on in, sit on down, stay a while. All right. First up, I want to tell you what my staple makeup ingredient has been. Now you know I like to test things over a long period of time. And I keep coming back to this Basswood Naturals Wild Strawberry Rose Infused Tinted Lip Balm. And the reason I keep coming back to it is for one, it's a forgiving product. So you can put it on, it's not doesn't have to have a perfect application like lipstick might and it just gives you that just that little bit of elegance and grace that you need when you're there's just a little mascara and this and I feel great so anyway I keep mentioning this product because I feel like not everybody watches every video and so if you've missed me talk about these basswood naturals lip tinted lip balms ah, you're hearing me say it again this product, I keep testing it. I keep testing it. It keeps performing. I keep loving it. So there you go on that. Now let's talk about my summertime skin routine first, because I feel like it's really fun to do, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So the first product that I want to talk about that I've been using and loving for my summertime skin, because see here in Hawaii, we went from 85 degrees with a breeze, which is just perfection every day, is never too hot, never cold, to hot, sticky, summer, humid skin. And that just is crazy for anyone's skin. So if you tend to be on the dry side, all those heavy products that you're layering can quickly become too much. So then you feel like you really need clarifying products. You need um, oil balancing, hydrating, but not congesting products. So anyway, I've come back to the Mook Tea 2-in-1 Resurfacing Exfoliant, which was in a Beauty Heroes box, and I feel like I counted it out because it felt too rough on my skin. But now that I've been oil cleansing with a non-emulsifying oil cleanser and a washcloth, my skin has felt so strong. And I feel somewhat that's in part to also using a really solid vitamin C product, which we'll talk about. So anyway, my skin has been doing great and I've gone back to using this two to three times a week. And where in the past it felt a little rough on my skin, now that we've moved into this summertime skin, it does not feel rough on my skin at all. And I love it as a second cleanse because it has a little bit of a surfactant in there. So it is clarifying without being stripping, um, ex exfoliating without being stripping, and it's got the most gorgeous color and smell. So it just feels decadent to use, which is again why it really is beneficial to use products over a long period of time and not to have too much in your rotation, in my opinion. Okay, 
Then I've pulled back out the Ranavat uh, Botanicals products because I feel like they are very excellent at oil regulation. And now that we're moving into the summer, I feel like that's definitely something my skin needs. I need a little bit of clarification without oil stripping. And I feel like these products do a really great job at balancing your oil production. So, you know, as I've been sweating a lot and <laughs> my face has just felt really greasy, I'm like, the Jasmine Tonique must come back out. So um, this guy has been getting a lot of attention lately and it feels so good and it's been keeping my skin nice and clear. Now, um, I use very sparingly, but just a little bit of a touch because these products actually together have been all the moisture I need underneath my AM sunscreen and um, these two products mixed with just a little bit of Wellita Skin Food Light has been giving me just great skin. So now I wanna talk about and review the Little Fox Couture Hot C Bright Serum Concentrate. Both this and the Dewy Bean Dream Bedtime Mask were featured in the June Beauty Heroes box. It is sold out and I feel so bummed out that I didn't give you guys more of a review last week in case you were kind of thinking about purchasing it because I have been so impressed with this vitamin C product. Now, let's talk about it. Let me give you all the details because even if you weren't able to pick up the box, you may consider purchasing it outside of Beauty Heroes because Lil Fox makes great products, right? Yep. Okay, so first up, it has 15% vitamin C. They are using an oil-soluble vitamin C. It is, if you've ever shopped raw ingredients, it is a very expensive ingredient to use oil-soluble vitamin C. Now, they're also using vitamin E and ferulic acid. Now, this got popularized by, I think it was SkinCeuticals, who has actually... Um, patented their formula for this 15% vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. They are using water-soluble vitamin C. I don't know that the mechanisms work the same, but I know that it's very popular now to combine all three ingredients. Simply because, based on skincare science, when all three of those ingredients are involved, vitamin C tends to be more efficient at actually penetrating and working uh, inside the skin. What I think is awesome about this product is that it also has niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. It also has cockadoo plum extract. It also has camu camu extract. So we've got some secret ingredients that are kind of slipping in there and doing good things for the skin. And I will tell you, after many years of being in the green beauty scene, when products slip in niacinamide, um, they tend to hear people saying they're getting results. So let's talk about my experience with the product. Now, because I'm a Beauty Heroes ambassador, they send me the box early. I got the box May 14th and I noted the date because I wanted to do some extensive trials with this product because for 30 mLs it retails for $125. That's expensive friends, that's expensive. So I really wanted to be able to tell you, hey, let me tell you how I feel about this product. So we're going to talk about everything. All right, so my use of the product has been now for 30 days and I've used it twice a day under a moisturizer, under a sunscreen, and I've, I, the only other thing I've really used in between are these other products. And so, oh, and my own oil-based cleansers, okay? So, what I, the results I think that I'm seeing is for one, my skin has been extremely um, smoothed. And so I have a lot of congestion and buildup and large pores in this area. And what I feel like in 
with using an oil-based cleanser that does not emulsify, I use a washcloth, I use a second cleanse, and then using this product and only a small bit of moisturizer, I feel like my skin has definitely had some poor minimization in this area and I've had some just amazing clarification in this area. Now niacinamide is really great at doing that. It's really great at brightening and refining the skin. The other thing is I've had a nice I've had really nice smoothing and buoyancy and, and just bounce to my skin. So let's talk about the formula a little bit because it's not just the vitamin C. You can't just say it's, it's one ingredient that is impacting your skin. It's the overall performance. And so I feel like one thing that we have to note is that even though it's a serum, it's actually an extremely lightweight moisturizer. So that in itself allows the ingredients to really attach to the skin and perform well. The other thing too is because it's a lightweight moisturizer, there is, and it's very thin in its um, serum qualities, it doesn't have a lot of gums in it. It has xanthan gum, but done right, that can really perform well and it doesn't ball up for me personally with any product that I've used. It doesn't ball up with an oil, it doesn't pill up with a moisturizer, it doesn't pill up with my sunscreen. So another just knock it out of the park for this product. Um, the other thing that I wanna mention is going into summertime it has a lot of sticky hydrating ingredients like glycerin and propranedile. So those ingredients really give it like a nice, bouncy, hydrating, slightly tacky, slightly essency style quality. Overall, I mean, it's, it's just simply a stunning product. I've been extremely impressed. I feel like out of a lot of green beauty products, it's actually given me results. So anyway, any questions, comments, thoughts that you, you wanna know more about this product, let me know in the comments below. If you're signed up for this Beauty Heroes box and you got it before it sold out, I'm so excited for you to try it and to hear your impressions. One thing that I wanna say though is that going into summertime when you're having hot, sticky skin, Go easy on this product, maybe mix it with just a little bit of oil because a little bit in the summertime, because it has those sticky, hydrating, glycerin-like ingredients, a little bit goes a long way. So don't overdo it. Don't be like two pumps and the more the merrier. No, because your skin is gonna feel really greasy really quickly. So go easy on it, particularly at night is where you might wanna beef up on it. So anyway, that's it about that. Now. Let me tell you really quickly how I've been feeling about the Lip to Lid Balmies by Axiology. I have not been loving them. I just recently smushed one of the crayons. So like I said last week, like for one, the champagne color, and maybe it's just my skin tone is too tan. It doesn't show up on me really at all. It looks like nothing. So I like both of the lipstick style colors. However, if I was gonna buy a lipstick, why wouldn't I buy a lipstick? So, I love this design, I, it's a cute concept, but I'm finding that I'm just not impressed with the performance. I'm not using them as a blush, and maybe that's really what they're designed to do. I'm using it mostly for my eyes and for my lips, and I'm just not loving it. I find that on my eyes, it's just not performing pigment wise. It doesn't really have any staying power, maybe because I'm testing it during the summer, but anyway, that's a quick update on that. Let me talk to you about lessons from the COVID. Now friends, one thing that COVID has taught me is that meal prep is worth its weight in gold. Now I follow a blogger on Instagram named Jordan Page, and she's a Mormon and she's adorable, <laughs> and she's all about that family life and all about that preparedness. And um, she has really, out of all the people I follow on Instagram that are sort of advice parent givers, 
she and one other guy have really stood out in my mind as giving valuable information. So one of the things I really go back to her about is how she fosters independence in her children. Her methodologies have really been eye-opening for me and I've implemented them in, my, them in my family and they've been really effective. So I started her concept of shelf cooking and I had already kind of been in this mindset for a long time, but she really motivated me to make it happen. And so I find myself prepping a lot of food. Anytime I'm gonna make one dinner, I just go ahead and make two and I freeze one. And that's something that she's a really big advocate for. And during this COVID time, when we're trying to have food on hand, but not hoard, I found that meal prepping uh, really has changed my life. <laughs> not kidding. It sounds ridiculous, but it has really changed my life to think ahead that not every night am I going to want to cook meat, prepare it into a dinner. And if I have something frozen that I can kind of whip together in 30 minutes, uh, it just makes the time during the week amazing. So lessons from the COVID, go follow Jordan Page. Um, she has an Instagram account for her shelf cooking, but it um, some of her tips, I swear, are life changing if you're trying to get your family into an organized state. All right, now let's talk about my reading list because it's become very clear to me in the last couple weeks that I need to, to spend less time on Instagram. And I need to spend more time reading actual books and having actual friends in real life. So on my reading list that I'm hoping to finish by the end of June, which feels ambitious for everything that I have going on, but I still want to try, is the book that I mentioned last week that was a recommendation from a friend of mine, Keisha Adinkra, on her Instagram account, a reading list for people trying to um, increase awareness and understanding of how to, we can better serve our black Americans. And so it's called Freedom is a Constant Struggle by Angela Davis. I've started it, but I want to try to finish it by the end of June. So hold me accountable. Okay, so really quickly, let me give you an update on green beauty theory. I do do sun short Instagram TV Sunday morning videos over there. And recently I was talking about a social psychologist named Jonathan Haidt. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but he is going to be my next book I'm reading after I finish this one by Angela Davis. He has a book called The Righteous Mind, and it's basically why good people argue over politics and religion. He has a great article, I'll link it, link it below, about some of the dark sides of what social media is doing to our society. And I feel like in the last couple weeks, I've really, when I was reading some of his reflections and his um, observations, I just, my jaw just dropped to the floor and I was so astounded by how spot on he is about some of the things he's saying. And if he is spot on about some of the things he's saying, I am a little bit terrified about what social media is going to do to our society. So anyway, that's gonna be my next book after that. Go check out that video. I just touch on it briefly. And um, all right, this video is long. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week, bye.